welcome you all to day 21 of anthropology lecture series so today's topic is going to be a little small because today we are going to cover mesolithic period and uh, so let's get started now we had already finished the paleolithic period right in which we had three classifications lower middle and upper and after that came in the mesolithic period so this period was between paleolithic and neolithic period okay understood so this period was not clearly defined in all areas of the world so now i have already told you this thing that whatever classifications that they are they are made uh, they are made by you know european researchers and in specific context to their own uh, uh, civilization because whatever findings that were there excavations that were happening they were happening according to their uh, you know their civilization so uh, it made a lot of sense in the european context but when we apply the same classifications over all to the whole world it doesn't make that much uh, you know uh, you know clear cut uh, I, uh, definition because har jagah mein uh, you know there cannot be like similar things happening and at similar age thoda upar niche ho sakta hai so that is why ye uh, it is not like in every area it was like clearly defined and specific nahi tha to each now agar if i have to tell you mesolithic age to aap isko kaise define karoge ya matlab what are the characteristic features for example neolithic ka characteristic feature tha ki agriculture had started theek hai paleolithic ka feature tha ki humans had started to make tools you know started to adapt to the environment through learned culture you know there was evolution happening but mesolithic mein aise kuch clear cut nahi hua tha ki hum bole ki you know uh, this this phase had this thing but yes this phase was important because somewhere down the line domestication of plants and animals had started okay so now domestication and agriculture mein farak hota hai you know that means domestication is just that you have understood ki aap uh, you can grow something on its own for example in paleolithic period they were not growing anything whatever was present in the environment they were just having that for example kisi saal famine ho jayega so they will all die with hunger because they do not they did not know how to uh, you know Uh, prepare food on their own that means unko nahi pata tha but here kuch controlled way mein they understood ki for example uh, unhone maybe kuch fruit khaya hoga theek hai uska seed agar uh, you know they put it in soil so they understood ki you know aise karne se hum uh, you know ye fruit ka tree uga sakte hain but not like proper uh, agriculture ka knowledge abhi nahi aaya tha theek hai so domestic domestication just means ki thoda thoda similarly animals ko domesticate karne ka matlab tha ki unhone ab apne sath kuch animals ko rakhna start kar diya tha which means ki ab unhe thoda sa concept aa raha tha ki animal se bhi hame bahut sare resources mil sakte hain uh, right guys just wait a second yeah so yeah so domestication had started and this period was around 10000 to 4000 years ago right so humne pehle hi baat kiya tha paleolithic was 2.6 million to 10000 mesolithic is 10000 to 4000 okay this existed around in europe and near east north america almost every place you know uh so this period also coincided with the ending of pleistocene period so when the pleistocene period ended a warming trend started basically pleistocene mein hum jo dekh rahe the there was ice age going on right ice age chal raha tha na humne last pe bhi padha tha risk glaciation and worm glaciation so there were the ice ages that were going on in the Uh, middle paleolithic and upper paleolithic so after that paleolithic period jo tha na ye cultural classification hai 
एंड इसकी जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल में अगर हम इसको देखें तो ये प्लीस्टोसिन पीरियड था ठीक है सो प्लीस्टोसिन पीरियड के बाद आया था होलोसिन पीरियड जो आज भी चल रहा है राइट सो प्लीस्टोसिन पीरियड एंडेड एंड होलोसिन पीरियड मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड सो इन द होलोसिन पीरियड और व्हेन द पोस्ट प्लीस्टोसिन पीरियड वाज देयर द वार्मिंग ट्रेंड स्टार्टेड ओके एंड इन दिस वार्मिंग ट्रेंड द एनिमल्स दैट वर देयर ना द टुंड्रा टुंड्रा एनिमल्स वगैरह क्योंकि दे वर लिविंग इन दैट यू नो अपर पार्ट ऑफ यू नो दीज रीजन्स यूरोप एंड वेयर दिस टुंड्रा वराइटी वॉज देयर सो दैट बिकेम एक्सटेंट ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज नाउ दैट मच कोल्ड इज नॉट देयर राइट सो दीज टुंड्रा रीजन्स वर रिप्लेस्ड बाय टेम्परेट फॉरेस्ट दैट मीन्स इवन दो देखो टेम्परेट है तो दैट हैज़ टू बी कोल्ड बट इट वॉज नॉट एज कोल्ड एज अ टुंड्रा राइट सो उस जगह पे टुंड्राज वर रिप्लेस्ड बाय टेम्परेट फॉरेस्ट दैट मीन्स थोड़ा सा वॉम एनवायरमेंट आ गया राइट सो देर वर अ लार्ज वराइटी ऑफ एनिमल्स बट लेस इन नंबर सो बेसिकली ऐसा हुआ कि बेसिकली दे दे बिकेम फॉरेस्ट नाउ एंड दे हैड अ लार्ज वराइटी ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स बट ऑब्वियसली दे वर लेसर इन नंबर सो दैट इज वाई उनको थोड़ा सा स्कैसिटी ऑफ फूड हुआ राइट सो सोसाइटी जो थी दैट दैट बिकेम लेस यू नो Uh, in society what happened there was as there was less abundant game so great variety of food was consumed now basically that wahi baat ho rahi hai ki abhi uh, temp, uh, you know climate change ki wajah se you know there was less food that was available to them so they increased their range of food that means if they were only eating a certain kind of food that is big game for example Uh, जैसे हिप्पो बिसन एंटीलोप दे वर ओनली हैविंग दैट सो दे ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड हैविंग लाइक स्मॉल गेम दैट मीन्स कि उन्होंने बर्ड्स इंसेक्ट्स यू नो ये सब भी खाना स्टार्ट कर दिया देन दे मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड टू फिश ऑल्सो देन दे मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड टू टेक सम वेजिटेरियन फूड ऑल्सो टू यू नो कम्प्लीट देयर यू नो हंगर टू अपना हंगर को सेटिस्फाई करने के लिए दे मस्ट हैव diversified their food right yeah so now in near east mexico china we have evidences of domestication of animals okay this is had guys this is had so domestication of animals right and best studied if if we have to see ki mesolithic पीरियड अगर कहीं पे बिल्कुल करेक्ट बैठता है तो दैट इज इन यूरोप ऑब्वियसली देयर दे हैड द कल्चर ऑफ वाइल्ड पिग्स आई एम सॉरी गाइस दिस इज पिग्स एल्क वाइल्ड पिग्स फॉक्स एट्सेट्रा सो ऑल दीज एनिमल्स वर फाउंड देयर पिग्स फॉक्स फाउल दीज काइंड ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड टूल्स वर द माइक्रोलिथ्स सो नाउ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस टर्म यू नीड टू रिमेंबर माइक्रोलिथ आई डोंट नो वॉट इज रॉन्ग विद द पेन टूडे आई जस्ट डू इट वंस मोर द माइक्रोलिथ राइट सो माइक्रोलिथ्स आर स्मॉल कॉम्पोजिट टूल्स ओके स्मॉल टूल्स दे आर स्मॉल टूल्स एंड दे आर कॉम्पोजिट टूल्स दैट मीन्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मटीरियल्स एंड माइक्रोलिथ्स आर less than an inch long so very small tools okay so they are used together and then apart from microliths they were having blade tools they were having aids they were having sh- harpoons fish hooks needles so different different so these all these small small uh, tools that they were having they were weapons well suited for small game small game like birds right so if you if you have to hunt down a bird you cannot use such a big tool na you need to have a small tool which is apt to hunt down a small game right so as the tools were getting smaller in size they were apt for their you know new found uh, kind of food they were eating right and with this 
uh, as in in the Mesolithic period there was the end of Magdalenian or reindeer culture. So basically reindeer culture kyu bolte hain because in Europe in uh, upper Paleolithic time there was a lot of reindeer that they used to you know hunt and eat. So that is why it was popularly known as reindeer culture also and we had yesterday only done ki uh, usme teen the Perigordian, Aurignacian and Magdalenian. Magdalenian last tha which which was surviving from 18,000 years to 10,000 years back right after 10,000 years Mesolithic period start ho gaya. so that is what it is saying ki it it end with with Mesolithic the end of Magdalenian culture happened right and then there was cave drawings etc so culture mein obviously you will write all the things aap religion ke baare mein likh sakte hain ki obviously inka bhi uh, after life mein believe hoga right then aap political authority mein likh sakte hain ki you know they were uh, growing as you know i have put these uh, in further slides right so i'll just tell you from here so now the, they were ma making such kind of images right as images bhi bana rahe the and you know the themes multiplied ab kya ho raha tha pa matlab painting to upper paleolithic time se start ho gayi thi agar hum bole man must have you know started to draw from lower paleolithic itself but that time they were drawing in sand with their fingers so that obviously could not be preserved right so but agar hum bole jo evidence humko mile hain that is most clearly found from the Mesolithic period, right? Ya fir aap keh lo, upper, uh, upper Paleolithic period. So, what kind of uh, uh, paintings they were making? In the starting, they were making only like uh, very, very uh, like hunting scenes. For example, hunting scenes. So, whatever they were seeing na, I don't know what is wrong with this, guys. Just let me see once more what is wrong with it okay guys I need to rub this let me just see once more yeah okay chalo let's do with this only hunting so basically kya ho raha tha ki you know, us time pe wo aise aise cheeze draw karte the jo unko dikhta tha like hunting scenes draw kar liye, theek hai? So there was no imagination based uh, things. Only what we, they were seeing, they were only drawing that, right? But but as Mesolithic period started, they started to multiply their themes. You know, their themes started to multiply. Now they were making different kinds of. Uh, uh, you know uh, things like supernatural like imagination like dreaming aise aise cheeze they had started to draw now theek hai jaise ki you know they will draw some mother goddess type of thing ki matlab you know there's a uh, there is a fertile woman out of her womb some plants are coming out so these were imagination based things right so themes had multiplied the size has uh, size size reduced that means now they were making smaller uh, you know paintings M the precision improved so now they were making much more like clearer drawings simple ni ab thoda sa uh, you know sophistication was coming in right so all of that and colors were the basic colors which they were getting from ferrous zinc oxides and all which were there in the environment so there could be reds there could be some pinks purples like that they were using the colors so abhi tak humne europe ki baat kar li mesolithic hume most clearly we, are, we find it in the european side apart from that in north america also we find two traditions okay we find two traditions in north america also one is the desert tradition and the other one is the archaic tradition now i'll tell you what is the difference so the desert tradition jo tha na, that was most on the west mostly on the western part and archaic was mostly on the eastern part so desert hai to you can understand that there must be scarcity of water there must be scarcity of food so there they were you know uh, depending on nuts seeds berries 
every kind of food that was available to them basically because there is itself only shortage of food right as well as bison antelope whatever they were finding na matlab big game small game nuts berries they were eating it all so as you know if there is scarcity of food they cannot you know uh, afford to have big big groups obviously राइट बिकॉज खाना इतना है नहीं है सो दे वर लिविंग इन स्मॉल सेमी नोमैडिक ग्रुप्स ऑब्वियसली दे हैव टू मूव दे वर नोमैड्स बिकॉज फूड इतना था नहीं कि वो सेमी परमानेंट और परमानेंट बेसिस पे एक जगह पर रह पाते राइट सो दे वर सेमी नोमैडिक द ग्रुप्स वर स्मॉल बिकॉज अगेन दे वर कैस्टी ऑफ फूड सो टू बी मोबाइल टू बी की टू टू कीप ऑन मूविंग ऑल द टाइम इट वॉज मच मोर ईजियर फॉर अ स्मॉल ग्रुप राइट सो दैट इज वाई their population was a little less whereas on the eastern front uh, you know wahan pe thoda sa coastal culture tha and you know a lot more comfortable they were so they were uh, you know relying on fish shellfish there was greater wealth because there was uh, like uh, domestication of uh, food also happening that means wo kuch kuch khud bhi bana lete the then coast se bhi aa jata tha fish and all so there it was a lot more comfortable so wahan pe wealth generate hone lag gayi wealth has in just surplus not in the sense of money just in the uh, sense of surplus so as surplus grew they became settled because obviously they didn't did not feel the need to move na because if they have surplus food why would they move right so they settled at one place so if they settled the population density also increased right so ye thoda sa north american culture ke bare mein aa gaya and apart from this uh, if we have to uh, you know summarize mesolithic culture that was the highest standard of living बिफोर एडवेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर सो एग्रीकल्चर के स्टार्ट होने से पहले द मोस्ट सोफिस्टिकेटेड यू नो स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग दैट दे वर हैविंग वॉज इन द म्यूजोलिथिक पीरियड सो इफ़ यू हैव टू राइट इट इन द एग्जाम यू कैन कोट इट इन सर्टन पॉइंट्स लाइक टूल्स में टूल मेकिंग में यूल राइट अबाउट माइक्रोलिथ्स एंड अदर टूल्स दैन यू कैन राइट अबाउट द कल्चर दैट वॉज मतलब एंड ऑफ यू नो मैगडिलेनियन और इंडिया कल्चर एंड इनका कल्चर कैसा था देन यू कैन राइट अबाउट यू नो देर रेजिडेंस दैट वॉज सेमी परमानेंट काइंड ऑफ देन अदर फीचर्स लाइक डोमेस्टिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स हैड स्टार्टेड देन दे पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी वॉज इंक्रीजिंग दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ फूड दे वर यू नो रिलाइंग ऑन देन समथिंग अबाउट यूरोपियन कल्चर देन समथिंग अबाउट नॉर्थ अमेरिकन कल्चर देन यू नो दे वर डूइंग सम काइंड ऑफ ड्राॅइंग्स केव ड्राॅइंग्स then uh, society के बारे में you could write that uh, you know society के बारे में I'll give you a point अभी भी band like band like uh, उसमें ही रह रहे हैं ठीक है but थोड़ा थोड़ा सा क्योंकि you know population is increasing तो some kind of leadership there must be ठीक है ना so अभी क्योंकि surplus इतना नहीं है because there is no no Uh, surplus so you do not need a political authority like that you know the complex political authority nahi chahiye but pakka kuch na kuch you know uh, you know there must be certain special people in the group based on age based on their skill set jinki baat you know mani jati hogi theek hai so this is how you are going to write it so i know this topic was little smaller but uh, yeah so after this tomorrow we are going to start with the neolithic period again very important uh, topic after that uh, we are going to further proceed i think this chapter will take further 3 4 classes or maybe 2 3 and then we'll finish it off so please like share and subscribe guys you are not liking you are not subscribing and you are not sharing it so it is very important for my motivation please uh, like share and subscribe and any doubts please comment uh, please uh, tell me in the comment section i'll be happy to answer you so thank you